So, good day. Albert Einstein famously said, the eighth wonder of the world is compounding. My interpretation of that was, he was necessarily referring to the compounding of money only. I interpret what he said as being uh, more, a lot more general than the aforementioned. In fact, I think the essence of compounding is relevant, re relevant to every aspect of life. So, we're going to go back to basic mathematics this morning. The line graph y equals x. What does that line graph look like? The line graph y equals x to the nth power. What does that line graph look like? y equals negative x to the nth power. Okay, so of the line graphs, y equals x or y equals x to the nth power, which of those two line graphs would better represent people's expectations? This, y equals x. In other words, let's label the axes. The y-axis is success. X-axis is time. Negative y must be failure. In other words, if we look at any of the component part of the word success, say, Effort as an example. The expectation is that as you put out effort, you go up this line graph, get to this point, over this amount of time, you'd expect that much amount of success. That's what we expect. You put out more effort, you continue going up the line graph, you get to this point, over this amount of time, you'd expect a linearly increased amount of success. That's how we are. So we think linear, our expectations are linear. But what in life is linear? Very few things. The one that comes to mind is a spreadsheet. But most things in life are better represented by y equals x to the nth power or this graph. So what does that mean? It means you put out effort, you go along this curve, you get to this point, you'd expect this amount of success, but the reality is you've only gotten that amount of success. So what is the difference between what you expect, this, and what you've actually gotten called? What's that delta, that difference called? It's called Disappointment. So he said, okay, I'm going to continue going up. I'm going to continue my pursuit. So you continue, you put up more effort, you get to this point. You'd expect this amount of success, but this is all you've gotten. What, again, is the difference between what you expect and what you've actually gotten called? What's that delta called? More disappointment. So now, what do most people now do? They say, well, this doesn't work. Let me try something else. And in trying something else, you actually go back to zero. And most people go through life like this. They never uh, persevere. Now, there comes a point on this line graph, the inflection point, whereby between the time you start zero and that point, you put out an inordinate amount of effort and you get a disproportionately low amount of success between zero and that point. 
after that point, you start going up the inflect, the gradient of the curve. Thereafter, you put out a little bit of effort and you get a disproportionately large amount of success. That's nirvana. But most people don't get to that inflection point. And we, we can see that in every aspect of life. So the question is, what is it that will have us propel through that inflection point naturally? That's the question. So which I'll which I, which I get to. Now, the converse is also true. y equals minus x to the nth power. This graph, in other words, you can behave badly. You go along this curve, you get to this point, you look back, and there's no failure that's a, that has actually showed up. So what do most people now do? They continue to behave badly. So they get to this point, still no failure of consequence has shown up. But there is an inflection point also on this curve there, whereby from zero to that point, you're, you put out a lot of bad behavior, but there's no failure that shows up, material failure that shows up. But after that inflection point, you now start going down the gradient of the curve. Thereafter, you behave badly just once more and you go to jail. So that was my interpretation of what Mr. Einstein said. This eighth wonder of the world is compound interest. This to me is relevant to every aspect of our life, every aspect. So the, I had asked the question, what is that uh, attitude, behavior that we must have that will naturally put propel us through the inflection point and get to the other side, whereby thereafter we put out a little bit of effort and we get a disproportionately large amount of success. The first characteristic is, number one, we must be purpose-driven. Purpose-driven. Number two, being purpose-driven is what will give us the fuel to be creative. So creativity. And thirdly, being purpose-driven will again give us the, uh, the, 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 the fuel to persevere. So the key in the key is to be successful in life, one has to be purpose driven. One has to be a disciple of something that is meaningful, that is larger than us. Because only then will we have the fuel to be creative and to persevere and hence get through that inflection point naturally. Thank you very much.